This has been my daily driver computer for a while now. It has lots of personal files on it and documents, and I recently upgraded my laptop, so now it's time to get rid of this one. Um, it still had some value in it, so I decided the best route would be to sell it. Now, the thing about selling a computer is you can't just simply delete items off your desktop. You can't simply go to settings over here and, add, and, and then add and remove applications this way and you can uninstall your programs here and I can uninstall individual programs and some of the programs will ask you hey would you like us to delete your personal data and you can say yes however there's still gonna be some temporary files all passwords all sorts of other things that are going to be saved in your system so we want to make sure we delete everything so in order to do that we're actually gonna go somewhere similar go to your start menu on Windows 10, and this is for a Windows 10 computer. Every computer is slightly different, but uh, a lot of the recent versions of Windows have a uh, recovery option, which allows you to basically restore your computer as new, as if you just purchased it for the first time. This is not only gonna protect your data, but it's also gonna make sure your device is, is peppy and ready for the, uh, for the next user. So next thing to do is, if you see here in the bottom right corner, there's an update and security. Go ahead and click that. And then over here, there should be a recovery button. Now, you have uh, reset this PC and advanced startup. We want to go ahead and reset this PC. So let's go ahead and get started. And it should prompt us with two options. Yeah, there you go. You have the scary remove everything option and the keep my files. If you want to keep this machine and you just want it to start from scratch, maybe you want to keep your files. But if you're giving it to somebody else, you don't want them getting a hold of your data, of your information. So go ahead and hit remove everything. Now, before you do this step, make sure, oh, and look, it even allows you to do all drives. In this particular computer, I actually have two hard drives. So I'm glad it gives me this option for all drives. It's not only gonna reinstall, it's not only gonna reset the drive that has my operating system, my drive C, but it's also gonna be able to, uh, my secondary data drive, drive D. So I'm going to go ahead and put all drives. Now, before I click this, do back up your computer. Make sure you copy all your important files prior to doing this. So this might take a few hours. So I'm unable to screen capture this because my drivers aren't working on my capture card with this in the reset process. But here it is. It should look something like this, depending on who your manufacturer is or which um, you know base image, what base operating system was put on your machine. It might even just say Windows there. But as you see there, I'm at 20%. I've already been doing this for about 30 minutes now. So at this rate, it's going to take me a few hours. And that all depends on how fast your computer is, as well as how much data you're removing. So give it some time and just be patient. So after it's done resetting, you should then get a reinstall Windows and it should switch to a blue screen, a quick restart and then a blue screen. And some flickering. All right, we're now booted up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set up the computer. I'm gonna turn off Cortana here. Skip. Boom. And there you go, a fresh install. My computer is now back to the original. Look at that, MSI. It even gives me the registration. Remind me later, let's go ahead and uh, check our hard drives here. And this PC, you can see my D drive is totally blank. My, my one terabyte here, and then my C drive you know, my documents, empty, download folder, empty, pictures, empty, music, empty, videos. It's all gone. It's all formatted. So there you go. I'm going to go ahead and um, do this one more time. Uh, just because I'm selling this, the new user could set up Windows with their own username and everything else. So remember, you could stop at that one screen. I just wanted to show you what it would look like. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions and we'll catch you on the next one.